Welcome back. We're going to do the uh, second half of the Blu-ray and DVD update. Uh, this one is going to um, be the stuff that I got in from the UK. Firstly, I got the new director-approved transfer of Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, a very underrated film. Didn't do a lot of business when it came out, but it's really, really good. It's the only film where uh, Quentin has written the script from the work of somebody else. Alma Leonard's Rum Punch was the book, and he has made it a very Quentin Tarantino-styled uh, version of that book, and the film is excellent. Great cast, Pam Greer, Samuel L. Jackson, Robert Forster, Bridget Fonda, Michael Keaton, and Rob De Niro in a smaller, more understated role, which is quite amusing. I sold my DVD of it to get this, and it has all the features that were on that, but it also has some new ones. It has Breaking Down Jackie Brown, which is a round table of critics discussing Jackie Brown. Uh, Jackie Brown, How It Went Down, is a retrospective uh, featuring interviews with Tarantino, Greer, Forster, Samuel L. Jackson, De Niro, Bridget Fonda, Michael Keaton, Almore Leonard, and the crew. And those are both uh, new. Um, and then the rest are from the DVD. A look back at Jackie Brown interview with Quentin Tarantino. The Chicks with Guns video, uh, which is a, a small segment of that, was in the in the movie, but the, the whole thing is here for you to check out on the Blu-ray. Siskel and Ebert at the movies, the Jackie Brown review, Jackie Brown on MTV, uh, Marketing Gallery, Still Gallery, Trivia Track, uh, Deleted and Alternate Scenes, and they come with an intro from Quentin also. Um... Now the transfer is stunning, uh, very very clear, the colours are great, much like the Pulp Fiction approved transfer, it is, um, it's like seeing the film all over again. In fact the, the transfer is so good that most of the people in the film look like they have really bad skin. Okay, so that was that, it's an upgrade from DVD for me, I uh, got a good price for the uh, special edition DVD and now have the Blu-ray. Next up, we have Masters of Cinema release of Harakiri, also known as Seppuku, uh, a film by Masashi Kobayashi. Uh, it's actually going to be remade. Uh, it's actually already been remade, I believe. It's going to be released for remake. Uh, the trailer's already out by um, the director of 13 Assassins, an audition, I can't remember his name right now. It looks very similar to this, but I can't imagine it being better. The black and white cinematography in this is stunning. This has come out in Criterion in America, but uh, in Europe, or in Britain in particular, uh, the Masters of Cinema series is like, it's like their version of Criterion. They put out uh, a lot of the same releases with quite a few of the same features. I have a few Masters of Cinema. This one here is really stunning. Transfer is great. has some good... Uh, Special features has the new officially uh, licensed high definition transfer in 1080p, uh, new and improved English subtitle translation, original Japanese trailer, an excerpt from the 1993 Directors Guild of Japan interview with Masashi Kobayashi discussing the film with director Masahiro Shinoda, if that's the right uh, pronunciation, and also an illustrated 28 page booklet featuring a new essay by film critic Philip Kemp. A 1963 interview with Kobayashi and rare archival production stills. Um, it is in its original theatrical uh, 2.35 uh, to 1 aspect ratio. It's locked in region B um, and also comes with a DVD of the film in region 2. So, as Master of Cinema have been doing for their Blu rays, they also do a, a dual uh, format as the DVD. Got a nice little book with uh, pictures. Center. It's quite a bit of information. This film is it's like the anti-samurai film, um, and it's quite slow burning, but it's it's intense and it's enjoyable throughout. There's no stage you get bored, and some of the most beautiful black and white cinematography I've ever seen. Um, I cannot recommend Harakiri enough. Should mention that's from uh, 1962. Another upgrade for me: Saving Private Ryan. Although I'm not a huge Saving Private Ryan fan, it's one of the few films that I'll buy just for uh, certain visual sequences. I think the story was a bit Hollywood, um, it's a bit jammed in, it's a little bit sentimental, typical 
kind of Spielbergisms, um, which I'm not a fan of. Um, but the film is stunning at times and has some very effective scenes and is worth watching. I had it on DVD, sold the DVD for a good price, and this was on a really good special, so I just picked it up as a good upgrade. It has all the special features that you've seen before on the uh, special edition. I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, we'll see if you can. There we go. Um, there's all the special features there. It's a two-disc Blu-ray, so plenty of stuff uh, to look at. I had a look at the uh, the film, and it, it looks amazing. It does have kind of two styles. The uh, the big action scenes are shot a little more, more um, handheld, like in Western Newsreel style, and they look good. But when it goes to the uh, the regular uh, footage in between the battles, uh, it's pretty much reference quality. Okay, it's another one I picked up. It's an upgrade for... I sold the DVD of this a while ago when I heard this thing was coming out on Blu-ray. The DVD never looked that great to me. But this Oscar-winning film is amazing. Great chemistry with Rob Redford and Paul Newman. It's part of the 100th anniversary collector series Universal been doing for their 100th anniversary. Uh, it comes with some good restoration features showing you the films that they've spent a little bit of extra time on. Um, heavy restoration on this one and some other ones coming out soon like Jaws and The Birds um, which I'll be picking up all of those um, this is a nice the nice digibook version it does come in a regular version um, with uh, a booklet full of information and pictures it's really nice and um, it's got all the special features that were on the DVD, making ofs, etc. But it also has some good uh, features about the restoration process and some of the other restorations they're doing. Uh, they've been doing uh, for quite some time and they're still ongoing. So it's really interesting to see how uh, the software and the machinery they use and the techniques they use to bring these old classics uh, to life. Looks really good.